This one here will be short and sweet, yet bitter. I am truly disgusted at the behavior of those whom look like you and me. I made a video by the name of Social Currency. Check it out. And in that video, it spoke to the biggest part of the nonsense that's going on out here in society. And it's mostly because of social currency. Meaning, meaning, meaning that folks are doing any and everything for clicks, likes, etc. Doing things on a more positive tip will grant anyone more shine and inspire those who also have their same issues. Yet, no effort is being put into that. Because as we know, nonsense, depravity, war, politics, uh, 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 gangs, killings, murders would generate more clicks, likes, and viewer attention. As we know, everything that's positive would not pique the interest of the masses. But fast food stabbings for the deed challenges, mouthing and searching cucumbers within their bodies, and so much more depravity that's out here, will be the headline. The key, the key part about it all is all these same girls will put males on blast who are in their inboxes. After the thirst trap bait they laid was taken by simpletons and simpletons of every ethnicity while stating, respect me, while twerking, twerking slobbing on vegetables. I see it too often, the countless amount of selfies by our sisters and this by girls and women, period. They know the pictures will appeal to the masses. They know this. But then when you comment or some fool getting to your inbox, sending you dick pics. I mean, wh what, <laughs> what honestly do you expect to get from displaying yourself? Because every picture that a woman puts online is an advertisement. Whether she's single, married, or in a relationship, when you are online, you are advertising yourself. Now, some of us may say, oh, I do it for the business. I do it for this. I do it for that reason. While I, you know, post this and I post that. But for the most part, it is for attention. Yes, I'm going to get those in the comment section saying, well, that's not true, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we'll get off social media. I dare you. I challenge you to delete all your social media. No, the males do not get a pass on their deplorable and feminine behavior, acting out emotionally, as opposed to behaving logically. I am not one to say often that their behavior makes us all look bad, because it isn't true. I know plenty of people who are on their square, handle, handling their business, who also promote positivity and speak against society's nonsense. I'm not going to spout the usual rhetoric, rhetoric of we need to do better, even though it's true. What I will say, as I said previously, is that balance must be present, meaning not everyone can go to the top. We have to have some people in the middle. We have to have some people on the bottom. We have, some, have to have some people subcutaneous to the bottom, which means under the bottom. That is what society is made of. It is made of different and various uh, positions in life. That is their role. Let them play it. 
My issue is my issue with it is don't come at me and those who are in my circle who are doing things behaving as if you're on point and we're not because we don't subscribe to you. That means no matter how many of us speak, reach, and teach, there's always a few that love and exist for chaos and everything associated with it. I say do you, but understand, you're going to run into people like myself and others who's going to hold you accountable and get in that ass when you step out of your body while behaving as a fool. I and many others will remain outliers of this, of this society and will continue to do the work. There's a place for fools who feel their fuckery is fair, fumbling through life, living a lie. These folks will feel the fire that inspire the inner greatness of you and I. I am Rasta Kilbo Mani signing off until next time. Peace to you.